situation that I posted and kind of sort of took down. I didn't take it down, it's just private because the editing that I did on the video didn't come out the way I wanted it to and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna delete that from my YouTube channel. It wasn't nothing but me just experimenting with an egg that I had sat under my couch for a period of time because I wanted to see if, a, uh, like I said, it was ignorant Mythbusters is what I called it. Well, no, I didn't say that, but now I did. Um, and I was just trying to see well, if an actual uh, bird would form an egg. Once again, ignorant myth busters, so keep all your comments to yourself. But on to the topic of this video. You know, I try not to address things that everyone else that has a YouTube channel has made because I feel like once so many people have addressed the topic, they've said everything that I've wanted to say and they've also exhausted the situation. But I'm really having a problem with today's youth. I'm having a problem with today's youth to the point that I no longer, con well, I've, I haven't been considered myself a part of today's youth in I don't know how long. I look up every single time there's something going on. If I'm not hearing about, you know, the usual, and I hate that I have to call it the usual, if I'm not hearing about gang violence or some type of drug dealing situation or this person got shot because of this or this little baby got shot in the head, because of, a mi of, what's the time? Oh, you missed you. She wasn't the intended target, but you know, got shot in the head. I'm, t I'm really, it hurts my heart to see this on the news, night after night after night. And then now, everybody wants to suck dick. I don't understand. I look, I, I, yes, I already heard about the Amber Cole. Amber Cole, who's Cole? Cole. What the fuck is cook? Cook. Five, six, seven, eight, play. Yes, I already heard about the Amber Cole situation, and no, I wasn't gonna make a video on that because everybody on YouTube made a damn video about Amber Cole. You've already talked about, you know, what she did and blah blah blah. And I have my own opinions on it, and maybe I'll address it at the end of this video, but that's not the intended purpose of the entirety of this video. But anyway, like I said, everybody sucking dick. Amber Cole, now I'm on, I don't, I guess the girl name was Sierra Wilson, I don't really know what her name was, and I'm sorry if I murdered your name, whoever. All I know is I looked on Facebook and my news feed had some girl sucking some dude's dick. First of all, how did this video get on Facebook and wasn't taken down for, you know, whatever type of publicity, bad publicity it was getting, whatever the case may have been. But it was just, all I could do was... And that's all. That's that's just it because I don't understand why today's youth is allowing this to go on. Because so many people like talk about, you know, the home and it all starts at home. Now see, I used to be one of those that said that, and that's the conventional wisdom within us all that you know it finds it so easy to say it starts within the home. Okay, yes, the home situation has something to do with it because your parents, family, and friends are a big influence. But it also, it also has something to do with what you see outside. Some people are impressionable, so what they see is like, regardless of if it's good or bad, their moral compass may be broken, and their ethical compass, ethical compass may still be in the shop, and whatever they see outside, whether it's good or bad, they automatically, I wanna be like that, or I wanna do that, that looks like fun. Not considering the fact of, is it gonna hurt you? Is it gonna hurt the people around you? Is it gonna hurt the people you love? Is it gonna hurt anyone? But now it's to the point where, I don't understand, and I'm so tired. One of the many excuses that people like to hear, and I even see it on these commercials. Fatherless homes are 30,000 times more likely to see their child become a gang member. 
No. First of all, let's dispute that now. Now, you know, I know that they weren't talking about all fatherless homes, but I'm inclined to believe that fatherless, maybe because everyone I know, pretty much, yes, just about everyone I know has, is, is living in a fatherless home for whatever reason. My, uh, I won't put her name out there because most of you already know who she is. Someone that's very close to me that I've known since elementary school, fatherless home. She's taking up two majors in a university in Illinois and doing wonderful. One of my, my closest male friend, I, well, I don't really know about his, you know, father's situation, but, because I've never really asked him. If he wants to tell me, fine, but I'm not going to pry about stuff like that because I know how that goes. But he stays with his mom. His, him and his mom go through, they be going through some shit, okay? They, <laughs> they be going through. But he's currently at DePaul University. Oh, shit. Now I got to believe that. Damn it, because I don't advertise nobody's shit. He's at 5678. He's at a university in downtown Chicago doing wonderful. He's a part of the gospel choir. He's, he's doing everything that he felt that he wanted to do after coming from a situation where he couldn't do anything. He could only do half the things he needed to do. So I applaud him. Why? Because, once again, this so-called myth or stereotype or statistic, whatever the fuck phrase you want to put on it, because it seems like they're all the same these days, Fatherless home, successful. Fatherless home, successful. Let's, let's think about some other people. I have a friend that goes to a university in the uh, northern part of Illinois. Now, yes, hmm. five, six, seven, eight. She goes to the uh, university in the northern part of Illinois. Fatherless home again. I mean, she has a stepfather or whatever, but at the end of the day, fatherless home. And she's still, she's doing, she's not a gang member. I mean, you know, she's doing, in my opinion, she's doing wonderful. Now, she still has, you know, a lot of growing to do, just like we all do. But she's doing wonderful. Let's, let's look at some other people. Fatherless home, uh, one of my really close female friends, who I, whose house I frequent a lot. Fatherless home. Now, she's been through a lot of things, but she has her own apartment. She's fucking doing the damn thing. Me and her don't always agree on a lot of stuff that goes on. And there's reasons behind that, but that's for a whole nother video. But once again, the point of the point that I'm trying to make is this whole fatherless home shit is an excuse. I'm sorry, it's it's simply an excuse. If the shit is true, then what does that mean for our mothers who are aunties or uncles, whoever's taking care of us, the sole care provider or whoever, that has gotten us to the successful point in our life? I guess there's Superman and Superwoman there, huh? No. That fatherless bullshit that's that's an excuse. And I will combat anybody that tells me otherwise because I, all I need to say is I'm not a gang member. I'm on the dean's list at a university in Chicago. I, like I said, I'm having issues with today's youth, okay? I really, I, if I cried like that, it, it would actually bring me to tears because I'm really tired of seeing it day in and day out. And on top of that, there's so much ignorance in today's society. And I don't mean like, you know, just simple things. I mean, it's deep rooted ignorance. I'm not even gonna sit here and explain situations because I'm sure if we all thought for, sat and thought for five minutes, hell, five seconds, we could come up with one. It is so ignorant and I'm so tired of society. I really am and I should, as young as I am, I should not be saying that I'm tired of society as a whole. Now, yes, I know that there are a few people here and there that, you know, are worth that drop in the bucket. But as a whole, it's just like, what do we see on a daily basis? I mean, yeah, I know the media likes to portray more, negative, more negativity than positivity in some, in some aspects. But it's still, for someone that lives and sees it every day, it's still really, it's sickening. And I don't, I'm not talking about Shangela or Alexis Mateo. It's sickening to the point where it makes me want to cry. I know several people that have cried. I think I talked to my mom once and I started tearing up because it really, it, it, disgu it, it disgusted me, it horrified me. And you know, it really scared me to see what future generations are gonna be like because I look at my mom's generation and like older generations and they went through their, you know, their struggles and strifes, but at the end of the day, 
they can have respect for themselves because they didn't have videos on the internet of them sucking dick. Regardless of if they learn from it or not, there are certain things, come on now, there are certain mistakes that you just don't make. There, I, I, I know I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be one to you know, be judging, oh, it was a mistake, blah, blah, blah. There are certain mistakes that you just don't make. You don't mistakenly put your mouth on someone else's penis and allow someone else to record it saying that if you got, if you, if, uh, for the right price, she'll do the same to you. You don't, no, I'm sorry, that's a mistake. No, no. No. So moving right along. Mm. Yeah, I really. You see, it's it's even in my body language. It's just like, cause it's just I I wanna, I want for us to do better so bad. I really really do. And it's not enough that you know, not to play the race card, but it's not enough that you know we're African Americans in a struggling society as it is and on all boards. But it's, it's, what, what are we, tr let's look at this. If we're already counted out by a major part of society, why are we allowing, why are we allowing the people that are counting us out to validate their reasoning for it by the things that we do? I don't understand. If I'm, if me personally, if I'm counted out by a group of people or whatever for something I can't help, I'm going to excel. I'm going to sh I'm going to struggle, of course. I'm going to go through my trials and tribulations, but I'm going to do my best, my best to come out on top. Why? Because I already have so many other things weighing me down. So it's in my best interest to not only prove all that wrong, but to to, to let myself know that regardless of any kind of insurmountable supposedly odds, I can still overcome them. But instead, we're just it's like, you know, we're just letting it ride. Since so many people say it, what's the point? If you can't beat them, join them. I'm sorry, that's the wrong mentality to have in this situation. I'm, come on now, I'm a black male, you, trying to get a higher education. I already defeated stereotypes when I got my high school diploma. I'm still defeating stereotypes being on the dean's list at a university. So come on now, and I'm not trying to throw my accreditation in there because I know what I do. I don't need anyone else to validate that. I know I'm validation enough. You do what you're supposed to do? Yeah, I do what I'm supposed to do and then more. Validation completed. That's that's all I need. That that back and forth with myself, that's it. But it's just like I need I need for us to find inspiration. I need for us to find encouragement. And I don't care if it's just the littlest thing. Some people I know get encouraged because nature continues to flourish no matter what we go through. There's always a brighter day in nature. If the tree died, you can plant another one. Wonderful. If it's you know something that grows every year, it may be out right now, but it's coming back in. The sun comes up every morning. Some people find encouragement in the sun because they know that no matter what happens, the sun is going to be there. I mean, let's not get into global warming. I don't need any scientists coming to my head, thank you. But they know that the sun is, is going to be there, just like the moon is going to be there. And some people find encouragement in that, knowing that if, so this object, this, this, this force can rise and fall every day, then they can get up and do the same thing and take the same energy that this force has and apply it to what they need to get done in their life. And I know some, and some, some people may think that sounds crazy, but a lot of people find strength in that. And I respect the shit out of them. So I just, I really, I really, oh my God, I need for us to find some encouragement and some strength to stop this ignorance, stop this fucking foolishness, okay? I need us to find some strength and some courage and some ignorance to rise above what they already say about us, whether it be true or not. Prove everything wrong. Prove things that they haven't said about us yet wrong. Prove it all wrong by doing the very best you can. Sucking dick in the back of the school on somebody's camera or camera phone, that's not proving anything wrong. That's pr in a sense, that's all proving us wrong because as much as we say we can do it, People that feel like they can't do it, it's not. It's just extremely drilled in when we have to see, or they have to see shit like that. Everybody is already on the last of the last, and I don't, come on now, we're all trying to make it here. And I don't need, me personally, I don't need shit like that setting us all back. So now on top of the already more than enough stereotypes we have against us, 
Now, this is just another one to add to it. So, black males have already, you know, been classified as gang members, gangsters, whatever. So now the females is pretty much going to be second dick. And the sad part about it is, for me to be disgusted, there are people who just don't find any problem with this. There's problems with this. There's major problems with all of this, not just that situation, with all of it. And I really, I need for it to come to an end. Not I want it to, I need for it to come to an end. If we're all, at the risk of sounding like a civil rights activist, if we're all going to move forward together as a group, I need for us to work towards something that is the same. I don't mean the same exact goal, but I need us to have a goal, and not that's not to be second dick. If you want to do that, wait two years, two years, and I guarantee you, you can get connected with some porn industries. Fine, whatever, it's legal. Then you actually get your name known. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, that's a great career, but, you know, some people just, that's the path that they want to go down. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to hate on them because that, if that's what they want, then fine. They, if you have a goal, that, that's what I need to say. I need all of us to have a goal. And when I say goal, I mean something that's going to move us further in life. Porn may not be the greatest thing, but you're still making money from it. And, you know, if need be, you might get a little famous. Now, what that famousness holds, another story for another day. But like, where am I at on time? Oh, shit. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Like I said, the point of this video is I need us to not make any more excuses about why we can't make it. If people took the same amount of time out that they do trying to make excuses for why they didn't make it and put all that time and effort towards fueling what they need to do to get to that goal, they'd already be there and back. And they'd be looking at themselves like, damn, I went there and came back. I need for us to have a goal that's going to push us ahead further in life, that's going to do something positive for our life, regardless of whatever negative or positive, 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 what the fuck is positive? Pause. Positive, five, six, seven, eight, play. Positive. I don't even know where that was going. Anyway, yes, I need for us to get, get it together, okay? Get it together. And with that being said, I guess I'm done. And for future reference, I'm going to try and, you know, start making more videos, so... Hopefully this is the start of many.